Hey everyone, welcome back to JD Bots. This is the bot series on Microsoft Bot Framework SDK version 4. And today we're going to install Visual Studio and we'll see what all workload options that are required for us to build a chatbot using Microsoft Bot Framework SDK. So let's get started. I'll go to the browser. and just search for Visual Studio. Please note, Visual Studio and Visual Studio Code are both different IDEs, that is Integrated Development Environment. They both are different. They both are different products from Microsoft. Whereas Visual Studio Code is an open source code editor and Visual Studio is a licensed product. You can also use Visual Studio for learning and development purpose for personal usage using Visual Studio Community Edition. If you are working on a team or if you are building a product for commercial use, you might need to go with Visual Studio Professional or Visual Studio Enterprise version. Okay. So VS Code and Visual Studio are different IDEs. So I'm just referring that. Because a lot of uh, developers or even manager level position technicians, they don't know that both are different IDEs. So this you need to take care of. Okay. So I'll just go ahead and download Visual Studio. If you are interested in getting latest features for Visual Studio, I would prefer you to download visual studio preview edition so that will get you latest ed features which are not released yet okay so i'll just click on the setup it will basically ask you what visual studio version you would like to download okay this is an installer so let's download and install this By default, it has taken Visual Studio Community Edition and the latest version is 2022. Okay, so you can also install 2019 version, but I would recommend you to go with 2022. That's the latest version and also it has latest features and you will love developing with those features. Okay. So let's choose the workload options that are required for us to build chatbots using Microsoft Bot Framework. So let's choose them. So first and foremost, we need ASP.NET and Web Development. Second, we need Azure Development. Third, we need Data Storage and Processing. So let me tell you why this three workloads are required. So ASP.NET, since our application that we'll be building using Bot Framework SDK uses web development technology behind the scene. So it's an API that we'll be building. Azure development, we can install Azure SDKs connect to our cloud resources, create cloud resources directly from Visual Studio, as well as deploy our applications to Azure. So Azure development is required for that purpose. And lastly, but not the least, data storage and processing. If at all your application requires you to connect to SQL Server, data lakes, Hadoop, so you need this extension or tool set that will allow you to connect to your servers and you can also look at all the data that is available in your server database as well as see all the tables, create them, run SQL queries. So everything you can do right from Visual Studio. You don't, do not need to go to SSMS, that is SQL Server Management Studio to manage it. You can do everything right from Visual Studio. Okay. 
So these three workloads are necessary for building Bot Framework SDK applications. Also, go to individual components and make sure .NET 8 is selected because we'll be building our application in .NET 8. The templates that are supported for Bot Framework SDK are written in .NET 6, but we'll be upgrading them to .NET 8. All right. And the component that we would like to add is Teams development. Well, it's not required. If at all you would want to create Teams bot or Teams application using these development tools, you can go ahead and install that. But uh, I mostly prefer building Microsoft Teams applications or bot you directly using bot framework SDK templates and not by going to Teams toolkit. This is also called as Teams toolkit. If you talk about in terms of VS code extension, it started from Visual Studio code where we install the Teams toolkit extension and allows us to build Microsoft Teams applications in Node.js. But C sharp, yes, this is the extension or component that is required inside Visual Studio that allows you to create Teams applications. Okay. So once you're done selecting these options, all the workload options as well as individual components, it's time for us to go ahead and install and download. Okay. So that's the only thing that is required. Uh, one thing to note for Microsoft Teams development tools, it requires .NET 6 runtime. So that's absolutely fine. Uh, it will install along with this tool, so it's fine. Okay. So by default, it will open up in Visual Studio Community Edition. If you still want to explore other editions, what you can do, you can cancel this option, come back to available, and choose the Visual Studio version that you need, either enterprise, professional, or even preview versions as well. Okay. So that is all here in this video. It might take around 15 to 30 minutes for you to download and install Visual Studio on your machine, depending on your system speed as well as your internet speed. Okay. All right. So see you in the next video and we'll start creating chatbots. Thanks everyone.